Good morning, everybody, and welcome to one of the better weather days we've had in a long time. It is perfectly overcast today. The high is only about 73 degrees, and it's mid-May. That's a recipe for success if I've ever seen one, so we're going to get out and flip some tin today. Flip a lot of tin today. That's pretty much what we're going to do for the entire day. We're just going to jump between spots and try to flip as much stuff as we can while we have this fantastic weather for it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, I wonder if that's one of the ones we saw last time. So I got the big king right here. And there's also a little ring neck in a hole. So I want to say this is a different snake than the two that Graham and I found at the same spot a couple weeks ago. Uh, it just looks a little bit different, but I'm definitely going to take some photos and compare markings. A little bit more uh, photogenic, but still very, very cautious about protecting her head. Wants to stay in a ball. So uh, we'll just let her slip back under the board and head to our next site. Very good start. I'll also check uh, before I leave and see if this is a recapture or not. All right, we're going to see. She'll, uh, yeah, she's coming back to life for us here. Want to go back under? There you go. Awesome. You can see just how thick she is on the back end there. She is definitely gravid. Oh! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! That's the first king I found under this piece, and it's beautiful. I had a very good feeling that today was just going to be one of these days, and so far it absolutely has been. This is another female king snake. That is nuts. This one is not gravid though. I'm assuming she either had babies last year or it's possible she's already laid her eggs this year. But that is so much nicer than the other snakes we've been finding. Just a fantastic king. This is the spot that I was really, really hoping we'd get a king snake today because they just are so nice here. And this one is no exception. That is beautiful. Nice wide bands, kind of a little bit of a chain pattern going on, but not so much as the ones that I've normally seen here. Definitely a little bit more ringy, but just a fantastic snake. Also, the set of 10 that this guy was under is a set that I have thought looked fantastic for years now, and it's never even produced a snake until today. So really big win in that department too. Finally getting a king under that fantastic looking set of 10. Also, I double-checked, and that last snake was actually one of the ones Graham and I saw at that spot about a month ago. So, cool to see that snake again, and even cooler to follow it up with another snake that's actually new. This is a, uh, a new female for me. I've never seen this one before. And in fact, I really wasn't expecting to see a king snake at this spot at all today, because they do tend to be pretty difficult here. But, it is May, and it is unseasonably cool. Alright, we are going to return this beauty to her tin. That is absolutely stunning. A little bit more yellow than I would expect here. I mean, that is a very cool, creamy yellow coloration. Super, super nice. All right, beautiful. Go on. <laughs> All right, let's see how many we can get today. We're up to two already. Look at this guy. Big male broadhead skink. Normally, these guys are way too fast to catch, but, uh, with how cool it is today, he was pretty slow. I was able to get him cornered under a rock so I could show you guys, but what an outstanding looking lizard. I know we have our fair share of lizard appreciators in the viewership, so here you go. Here's your dose of lizard for the day. You can kind of see why these guys are called broadheads. Look at just how thick their, uh, their jaw musculature is compared to a normal skink. You definitely don't want to get bit by one of these. Oh, copperhead. Very nice.
we got a copperhead under this set earlier this year, but I think this is a different snake. I see a lot of copperheads in this one little area right here, and I've always wondered if they're the same ones or not, so I definitely need to go through, compare some markings, but I'm going to take a photo of this guy before he starts freaking out. All right, he freaked out pretty quickly after that, and I got a couple of photos of him on top of the tin, but uh, we're just going to gently coax him over here. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Can you not, dude? Thank you. See, he's not chasing me. He just is trying to get away, and I happen to be in the direction he's trying to get away. So it's as easy as moving out of the way and readjusting your position. Listen to him rattling in there. <laughs> oh, that's a big rat snake. It's a really big rat snake for this piece of tin. It's the first thing this piece is produced to. Very nice. We'll pull him out and get a better look at him, but he is in shed. Um, I am curious how big this thing is, though. It looks like a nice, solid five-plus footer, so we'll pull him out and look. Mm, no biting. Goodness gracious. Holy cow. That's one of the bigger snakes. I've seen. <laughs> that thing is huge. Look at this. I mean, that is kind of absurd. Hello. That is crazy. Ah, ah. No bite. Stop, stop. You're too big for this. That is insane. It's like a python. Goodness gracious. No biting. Ah, <laughs> you're way too big for this, my guy. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. Look at this. Hey, easy. Look at this. I, I keep saying look at this. Just look at it. That is insane. That is so ridiculously big. <laughs> look at him puffing up. I mean, this GoPro footage might be the best video I get of this thing, just because you can actually see a little bit of scale, I feel like. That is nuts. He's definitely a little bit big for photos, so we'll just uh, let him slide back into his 10 stack, but what a sweetheart. Gigantic gray rat snake. It's our next find. We had a little slow streak there where we didn't see much, but then we got the copperhead and this big rat snake. So uh, I'm just going to let him crawl back into his 10 here. Actually, we'll see if he wants to go in the backside there. Now he's going to try to crawl off in the woods. Go into your tent. There he goes. All right. Well, I was walking along and I noticed a little box turtle sitting right here. I can't see him very well because he's partially obscured in the grass, but it looks like he's got a pretty torn up shell. I don't know what from, maybe fire. Very nice. Definitely kind of looks like a fire scar. You can see it's smoothed over. I missed the flip clip, but here's our first ring neck of the day. Or no, it's our second one, actually. I forgot there was one under the board that had the first king. Kind of surprised we haven't seen more of these. They're normally everywhere, but they've been kind of... It seems like this year in general, they just haven't been as numerous as they normally are. Well, right after I said I was surprised we haven't seen more ring necks, I got a double flip under this piece of tin, which I've never found anything under, so it's nice to see. There's yet another ring neck. This little area is loaded with them. Oh, coral! Oh my god! Oh! Holy cow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There is no way! Holy... I'm sorry if the camera is shaking, but that is the coolest thing I have ever flipped under 10. That is a Georgia Piedmont coral snake. <laughs> under 10 that I set up specifically hoping to get a coral snake. That is unbelievable. There's, I just, I cannot even wrap my mind around the fact that this is happening right now. 
That is insane. And this is a new county for me. I've never even seen a coral snake here until just now. That is unbelievable. So it's in shed, um, but I, I, I don't really care, frankly. I've seen enough beautiful adult coral snakes uh, in the Georgia Piedmont that just to get one under 10 is just insane. I cannot believe that just happened. That is so crazy. What a beautiful snake, even in shed. I put this tent out here on a whim just because I knew there could be coral snakes in this area and I thought it looked like good habitat, but I'd never found one cruising around here, so I just kind of assumed that they weren't here or they weren't very common here. And uh, it's entirely possible that that is the case, but it's just crazy to finally get one under 10. That is so awesome. I've never even found a snake under that 10 prior to today. This is the first snake that that 10 has produced. And it's the big target for this area, an eastern coral snake. So, so, so cool. And just the ice going, what's well, already been a fantastic day. But yeah, when the sky looks like that in May, you know you're in for it, at least here in Georgia. But uh, we'll put this little guy back under his tin. And actually, this is a little girl. Um, I was kind of hoping it was a gravid female, but I don't think that she's big enough. And it's a pretty small coral snake. Uh, Potentially an adult, but I think she's probably got a couple years before she's ready to reproduce, but just so cool. And you can see her eyes are a little bit blue, those little beady coral snake eyes, but overall you can tell she's in shed because it's just not nearly as vibrant as a, a freshly shed coral snake would be, like the ones that we've seen on the channel before. Just trying to get a little video of him crawling around a little bit, but uh, it's been a pretty cooperative coral snake for photos. He didn't really freak out too much. You can see very erratic with their movement, but overall pretty docile. If you ever see one, just uh, give them a little bit of space, but they're not gonna strike at you unless you really get close to them or otherwise touch them. And they don't really strike like a lot of our other venomous snakes do. They more just kind of gently decide to bite you. <laughs> All right, I've gotten plenty of photos. Look, she's doing a little bit of a tail curl there. Really, really good looking snake, even deep in shed. I imagine this would probably be an absolute stunner with a fresh shed. You can see she's got big black spots in the red bands, which is kind of something that the corals in the Piedmont seem to do pretty often. Maybe we'll see this girl one day out of shed, but for now, we're gonna return her to her 10 stack. Well, I don't think today's gonna get any better, but I'm definitely gonna try to keep flipping and see what else we can find. But I stopped for lunch, I'm gonna eat real quick, and then we're gonna get back to it and head to our next area. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Finally, the first time this piece has produced, and I believe that's a snake we've seen here before, but it was crawling right there. I'm fairly certain we found the same snake last year around the same time, but it was kind of in a shed cycle. It looks a lot better now. Um, he's pretty distinct looking, unless this is like one of his siblings or something. All those weird little lines down the side are uh, what I'm basing that off of. It's a pretty unique look. Well, I was hoping to at least get another king today, and I'm glad that happened. So we've got a good bit more to hit, though, before we end up calling it a day. And uh, we're kind of running out of light here soon, so I'm going to make it quick with this guy. And we'll put him back. And a really interesting looking face on this one. Just super clean. He's kind of got his mouth open. What's that about, dude? A very, very clean pattern on top. Kind of a narrow head. Almost Black King looking. All right, buddy. There you go. Kind of see him right there still. Oh, baby king! Holy crap! That's the first time I found a king in this set, too. Wow! What a little beauty! Hold up. I'm gonna get a photo real quick and we'll get a better look at him. Alright. Hey, buddy. Wow. Look at that. Look who was ready to shed. Look at that shiny little head. Now we're talking. Look at that. Fantastic.
for anyone wondering about the age class of this snake, I would guess this guy was born last year, so he's probably almost a year old now, but he has definitely had some good growth since he hatched out, um, especially compared to some of the snakes that haven't, clearly haven't had many successful meals. This guy is doing pretty well for himself. Just a fantastic example, the Eastern King Snake. But then again, it's hard to find a bad example because they're all just fantastic. All right, I'm gonna get some photos of this beauty and we'll let him go. We're running out of tin though. I think we've only got maybe one more stop before we're out. So we'll photograph him and get back to it. All right, buddy. Well, I think that might end up being the only herp we get here. There was also a broadhead under here with this guy, but flip the box turtle, pretty cool. Not something that happens terribly often, but it's also not really rare. But with how badly these guys seem to be declining, I am always happy to see one under just about any circumstances. So I'm gonna get a quick shot of him and we'll leave him right there. Another box turtle. Glad I decided to stop here. There he is. That's cool. That's a really good looking turtle and he's still a juvenile too. I bet he's gonna be a real stunner as a full grown adult. Yeah, it's been a good day for flipping box turtles so far. I'll just uh, let him go right back under this board. There you go, buddy. Well, the last stop of the day did not produce anything but that box turtle and the broadhead that it was sharing tin with. But I would be lying if I said it was disappointing because I'm still riding the high from the first king snake of the day. And we got four kings, a coral, a gigantic rat snake, and a couple of other more common snakes. Really not very many numbers today. Definitely a quality over quantity type day. But we got quantity of quality too because we found four king snakes. But I'm exhausted. I've been doing this all day. I feel like I'm covered in ticks and I want to take a shower. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing our first coral snake flip clip. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I found a snake on the way home. Not sure if he's clipped or not. Looks like he's fine. He's just sitting in a weird way. <laughs> Very nice. Little juvenile rat snake. He's doing his best DOR impersonation. Let's get him out of the road so it doesn't become reality. There you go, dude. All right. I'll see you guys next time.